Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the newsletter box uh, element and uh, if uh, for the moment we haven't uh, added any uh, menu item right here in the elements uh, sub menu but I will just show you immediately. So first try to create a new page testing newsletter box enable the page builder publish and edit this page with the page builder great so now I'm going to search for newsletter and let's conf uh, make a simple configuration the first thing you'll notice is that the MailChimp ID is missing and uh, you sh first this uh, this uh, new this element is using the MailChimp uh, uh, free service so uh, I think is the best from the market and their integration with uh, any website it's uh, it's awesome so you can just access uh, MailChimp options in Kalias options and you will need to add for example if you don't know where this is it's Kalias theme general options and MailChimp options uh, there's a tutorial uh, about uh, getting a MailChimp API key I'm just going to pause and add my own uh, API key right here so I just pasted my uh, uh, API key and I'm going to go back publish this page and refresh it and I'm just going to open it and you, as you can see the list has been uh, updated so I'm just going to leave it a test list I'm going to just simply select a random uh, random uh, data options sorry colors and placeholder I'm going to increase the font size the button width and form height and let's see this is the newsletter box you can resize the entire column for example 8 or I think it was nine. yeah this is the entire uh, column so you can uh, as you can see here there are some live options you can change switch the, the style and all sorts of uh, options the idea is to make sure you have this uh, uh, MailChimp list ID set up. So that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask me and uh, if you do have any problems with this element feel free to subscribe to our uh, support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.